Hey guys, this is Adrian. This is uh, week nine with Art of Transness, and this week we're talking about um, internalized transphobia. And um, this is this is a, a topic that I think a lot of people don't really want to talk about um, because we like to think that it doesn't exist, and um, it does obviously. And I think that we do need to talk about it and um, th uh, collaborate on ways that we can um, stop these these feelings um, from occurring because I think that they're um, really poisonous and toxic to how we uh, view ourselves and the community and uh, how we project um, an image um, of the community out, out to everyone else. And so um, I guess what I wanted to talk about uh, was how internalized transphobia manifests itself in my life and in the things that I'm doing, um, I'm actively doing to try to fix um, those spots. Um, this is my dog. Bendy, she has a cold right now. She's not feeling very well. And, and I guess a trigger warning, um, I'm going to be talking about things that could uh, upset you, um, things that will probably make me look like an asshole, um, things that I'm going to probably say things that you don't want to hear. Um, so tune out if you're, if you're not ready for that. How internalized transphobia manifests itself in my life. I think the first and foremost, um, it manifests itself in how I compare uh, my body, my transitional timeline, um, my identity to other trans men. And this was even apparent um, way before I even started testosterone. Um, even, actually, even before I uh, was friends with Zach, I didn't like Zach um, because I feel like he was, he was still in my thunder and that he, his transition wasn't the same as mine and our stories were totally different and that wasn't okay, and I needed to be the only uh, representative trans man on campus, and obviously I've gotten over that and realized how, what a bunch of crock of shit that was, um, and Zach is like my best friend now. I compare, so when I, when I look at other guys, I'm like, oh, um, he's more muscular than me, but at least I'm taller than him. You know, oh, well you have this masculine attribute, well at least I have this masculine attribute, and you don't, and that makes me more of a man, or, um, you know, I, I had this surgery done on this date when I was this month on T or whatever, and, and you, it took you this long, or, uh, you know, I do a lot of comparing like that, and, and I try to justify my transition as, like, the best transition, and I am um, representing uh, the smoothest uh, integration in, into male, maledom, or guy land, um, that can, can ever happen, and, and it, and it's awful of me to um, justify my transition and put myself up on a pedestal and create hierarchies um, to make myself feel better. Another way that I um, have internalized transphobia is, um, and Zach had talked about this, and we've done it together, um, is we, well I, it's mostly me, um, will make fun of guys' names. Actually one of the first uh, first original post that we ever did for our transness was how to choose your name and we really discouraged um, guys from choosing these names that we thought were inappropriate um, or um, trendy and who are we to um, police how you pick a name or um, how, how you feel about a name even if we we think um, you know we wouldn't pick your name well guess what that's fine because we don't have to go by your name that needs to stop and that's something that is a little thing, you know, and my making, my making fun of other trans guys, even this apartment has allowed my roommates to think that that's okay. And so, um, you know, I mentioned that I, I'm going to go hang out with so-and-so and they're like, wow, that's a dumb fucking name. And I want to be like, what have I created? You know, like, ah, I feel awful about that. But also, Zach had mentioned this, and I had a, a pretty long discussion with another trans guy um, last night at a bar about this, um, that one way that I internalize my transphobia is I feel um, I'm more into and I feel more strongly that um, trans men have, have a uh, more successful uh, transition than trans women do, and I think that's awful. We need to not... <laughs> not view, uh, well, it's oranges and apples, you know, like, we can't really compare them. To put uh, 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 our, the, our sister's transitions and our transitions, um, 
you know, on the same levels is not um, a useful or accurate way um, to describe the experience or, um, you know, it, it, it's actually detrimental because I think there are key differences and that, that needs to be recognized. And when we compare them, um, it silences a lot of a lot of the struggles that trans women go through that we don't go through, but we claim sometimes that we go through. And I think that that's um, a mistake and it's transphobic. Um, but yeah, uh, the, the last thing, the last big thing that I think that uh, how I internalize my transphobia is I, um, I don't take the younger trans guys seriously. It, you know, I'm always thinking when I when I see like a younger trans guy, I'm talking about his issues um, and, and struggling through um, these dilemmas in his life. I, I will think back to my life and think, oh well, shit, you know, he didn't have to do this when when I was when I was twelve. I had to do this, or I didn't have this resource, or my parents did this to me, and it's like, man, you need to suck it up and. You know, like, what are you bitching about? I don't get it. But, like, everything is relative, and their concerns and worries and, and, how, and how they feel is valid, no matter what. It, their life is not connected to mine, and uh, I, I, I really um, need to listen carefully and, and seriously to my little bros, because sometimes I just don't take them seriously. You know, I, I only really um, acknowledge, um, without any critique, um, a trans masculine trans men who fall within the gender binary and that is counterintuitive to everything that um, I'm about and it's not useful for me or anyone else and um, that needs to stop um, but I guess what am I doing to fix this really um, acknowledging that this transphobia exists in my life um, I haven't been too good about not making fun of people's names because um, I'm kind of an asshole um, and yeah, I just need to stop doing that. Um, but in terms of, uh, you know, acknowledging uh, the narratives of trans women, uh, Zach and I actively post news stuff and uh, things written by trans women and that experience on the blog. Um, I have been actively um, seeking out um, younger trans guys um, in town and talking with them. Um, I've been trying to kind of just get in touch with guys who have uh, vastly different narratives than me and I think that uh, basically acknowledging that this transphobia exists in my life and actively trying to change it to become educated about it um, to to rectify the wrongs that I, I've done um, I think is important it's it's been a really good healing thing for me um, I feel like I've grown a lot once I have acknowledged uh, some of my transphobic behavior and I would suggest um, anyone who thinks that um, trans women don't um, transition as successfully as trans men or anyone who doesn't give the little guy or little brothers uh, credit or anyone who um, puts other people, other trans guys in their transitions down in order to feel better about their own transitions or anyone that um, creates a hierarchy in terms of surgery or in terms of when they start a T, or in terms of how, what kind of T they're using, or how they went about getting testosterone, or if they saw a therapist. Um, anyone who tries to create some kind of hierarchy based on these attributes of people's transitions or lack thereof, um, you need to rethink that for sure. Um, and uh, really try to understand that your narrative is yours alone. The way you did it probably worked best for you, and it may not have even worked best for you, but uh, you just have to understand that there are a million paths to, 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 to successfully transition, and what that successfully transition looks like is different for everybody. And um, to try to critique and to police and to create hierarchies and to put other people down does nothing good. It does everything bad. And I am trying to right my wrongs, and I encourage um, everyone else to do the same. So.